Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation Channel. Today in this session, I'm going to discuss about what is smoke testing. And this question is frequently asked in many interviews and also we use this testing in our day-to-day -day activities. So let's get started. Smoke testing is performed to ensure the software application build is stable or not. Whenever we work in the development environment and you get a development build from the developers, and the first and foremost testing that we perform is the smoke test and we perform this test to ensure whether build is stable or not if it is stable we can proceed for the testing and if it is not stable then immediately we will revert to our developers and the word smoke testing comes from the electronic hardware testing where if you take an example of a circuit board where you connect all the circuits and you immediately switch the power on and you identify whether smoke coming out of that circuit or whether it's working correctly or not if you see any smoke coming out of it you immediately switch the power off similarly the same rule applicable to uh, software application where we test a smoke test out of it and we see if it is working then we proceed further if it is not working then we will stop our testing and smoke testing is also known as build verification testing or a confidence testing so whenever we perform smoke test and we get some ability to proceed further on the functional testing or we stop at that point so this is also called as build verification testing and also we can call as confidence testing so if we get some confidence out of the development build then we can proceed further on the functional later we can go for the regression and smoke testing is performed by both developer or a tester because this is a build verification testing so Sometimes developers may also test our application in the smoke testing with our smoke testing cases and the testers is a mandatory to verify the smoke testing and smoke testing we only focus on the positive flows of the application and we enter only valid data but not the invalid data so if you go entering all the invalid data and negative cases that becomes a regression testing and in the smoke testing you need to verify whether build is stable or not we can proceed further with that stable or not we need to identify at this stage so testing a negative flows and negative test data that will be covered as part of your regression testing and smoke testing can find the defects at the early stage so this is a where it is advantage in the software testing where smoke testing can detect early defects and we can save a lot of time putting our time in uh, functional testing regression testing though we have a defect again we need to redo all these things whenever we get the development build again so it's a best way we can design a smoke test suit ready from development builds and we can identify the defects out of it in early stages and smoke testing doesn't require the new test cases instead they can be picked up from the existing test cases so if you have a regression test case suit you can identify which are critical functionality that are required to work with application then you can identify them and you can put them into one suit that suit becomes a smoke testing suit and you can start testing in that smoke testing cases and if everything okay then you can proceed further for functional regression testing so these are all the points we need to consider whenever we are getting a build from the developers so smoke testing provides you a confidence on the build and later you can proceed for the functional regression testing and this question is asked frequently for all experienced guys and also for manual and automation testing uh, persons and sometimes they may ask how many smoke test cases that you automated in your current project so this is based out of your experience you can say you can say as per your knowledge and as per your work experience i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching